So Jim, what are the first things you need to ask the customer when you're trying to select the right tractor and the right attachment? I need to know the cover depth and I need to know what he's putting in the ground. So once that you have that cover depth, if we want to focus on plows today, just the plow attachment, what things do you go to there? On the plow attachment, the cover depth is going to tell me which tractor I need to have as well as the product size. That will, that will help us select the correct tractor. From there, we can select the, the correct type of blade. Okay, so if we look at the different types of plow blades, I believe you told me there's about four main types of plow blades, right? There are. So can you walk me through those four and then kind of like high level what they would be used for? Okay, the rigid blade, the most common, that's the one that has no joint between the chute and the, the main shank of the blade. Uh, that's used for almost all of the telecom work and uh, uh, quite a bit of the conduit as well, up to about an inch and a quarter in size. Uh, the next one in line would be, let's, let's talk about a combo blade. If you're doing golf course work, where you need to pull a large diameter water line and the control cables for the sprinklers, you're going to need a combo. It can drop the wires down the chute and pull the large line behind it. Uh, single pivot blades do just what they say. They, they bend left to right. It allows you to make a curve with that plow, with that large rudder behind you, uh, and still be able to steer it. The fourth kind would be a double pivot blade. We've not made many of those in the past few years. They were originally designed when we could not shake the glass fiber for fiber optic. So it keeps the chute static and the blade moves in front of it. Okay. And so then you talked about one more option that you have to select when you order your plow blade, right? And that'd be for your marker tape. Okay. Most all of them require marker tape of some kind. Uh, what we need on that, you need to tell us what kind of tape you're putting in the ground and how far above the product you want it. And we will place that onto the gate of the chute uh, to, put, to, to put it at the right depth for you. Yep, so important to know that that's not adjustable, right? You order it is not time. adjustable. Okay, and so then the other piece that you were telling me about is the leading edge, right? Correct. And we have a couple options there. Can you tell me about those? We have actually three options. You have two on the replaceable edges. One is a smooth. Uh, you get the best wear out of that one. If you are in a lot of roots or very hard clay, you can put a serrated front edge on it. That acts like a steak knife and just breaks the ground up as it moves through. Uh, option three would be, say you're on a golf course and you need a razor sharp blade. We will mill a surface on that blade and sharpen it uh, so that it has very little ground disturbance on the surface. So there you go. There are some of the options and why you would select the different types of plow blades. For more information on any of these plow blades, please talk with your local Vermeer dealer or visit Vermeer.com.